big appeal for leg before and uh, yes giving him leg before right up and it looked out and umpire Erasmus just had a, a long look at it he said it was out the batsman now consult whether to review or not was uh, full length Roach coming back for a new spell and I think time has run out to go for the review well he's asking for it now time hasn't run out he went for it so we're gonna have a look at the Hawkeye and we go through the process once more this was a good delivery that's what I'm talking about if you're getting a bit of swing if you're getting a bit of swing you can afford to be pitch the ball full in length now did that hit him fraction on the outside the off stump that's the only question it certainly was heading for the stumps but it says on field call so it will end up being as it was before given out it will remain out good bowling by Kimar Roach if it's swinging pitch it up get a bit of movement and deceive the batsman Cowan goes leg before wicket to Roach Australia lose her second wicket for 65 well taken brilliantly taken it's not it's not been given it's a fantastic delivery it's the first one that's really really carried through I wasn't really sure what was that it's a Roche is angling in just getting it straight Lucky Sammy was on the board there at first slip. But again, that was the one that really took off, really came through. It's one we haven't seen. Roach has been pushing hard for that wicket. First ball. And gone. Wicket in the second over. The third for Kim R. Roach. The outside edge found. And West Indies pick up their sixth wicket without addition to the overnight score. Well, the first ball's moved in towards him off the seam and this one goes away so that's excellent bowling nice carry too we talked about the slowness of this pitch you know, that nice hard new ball genuine authentic edge Wade can't do much about it roach takes his third wicket a little expensive but he's got the right numbers in the wicket column darren sammy is very happy that second year ball has had its effect 208 for six Ball in. So another wicket for Kim Roach. He's got a, a little bit of revenge for that. Well, a lot of revenge for that shot. A spanking clear cut. 309 for nine. Now the girls are up. And most of the West Indians are up as well. So another wicket for Roach as he comes back. Deserves these wickets. A lot straighter. Ball just coming in a bit, hitting the pad and then ricocheting back onto the stumps. Would have missed the leg stump but for the pad. But that's exactly what you would have been hoping for. Straighter coming into the right hander. He plays, misses, I hit. Goes for five, Ben Hilfenhaus. 309 for nine. Yes, out. Leg before. He's asked for the referral there. Umpire Erasmus having no time to give it out just thought well yeah that's out but they've asked for a referral not too sure this one will go in favor the batsman again he's thinking the ball is going down side down the leg side Michael Beer but he shuffled a long way across his stumps well Hawkeye will let us know what the situation is he's not coming forward he's on the crease that's pretty straight as far as I'm concerned but who knows who knows perhaps going over the top I don't think he's missing leg stump. Hitting the top of leg. Definitely out as far as I'm concerned. He thought it was going down, but he shuffled a long way across his stumps, Michael Beer. And the umpire, Marie Erasmus, confirmed that he's out. Five wickets for Kimar Roach. Very good bowling. third time uh, he's got five wickets in an innings and as Mikey Holding was saying since yesterday 
how much he has uh, impressed in this series. Went through a bad time last year in the series against uh, India and Pakistan, but uh, now come back to his best and with five deserved wickets, holds the ball up in the approved fashion these days. Edged and gone now. Fidel Edwards might say there's no justice. But Darren Bravo, in for a slip now, takes the catch. Oh, had that one. Big wicket for the West Indies, David Warner. It's just seemed away nicely. It's a good low, low catch. How things could be different if he was there a little bit earlier. And at least he can smile. So wicket for the West Indies, even if it doesn't go to Fidel Edwards. Warner gone for 17, it's 26 for 1. Well, he's taken the off stump now. He threatened to do so with the very first delivery. And that's a superb bit of bowling by Kim Aroch. Well, when you're hot, you're hot. Fidel Edwards was really steaming up, but now this man has come on. And in the space of five deliveries, he's knocked over two of the Australians at the top order. Another full length delivery. And this time he raises the finger. Let's see what the Aussies will do now, if they'll do anything. All good again from Roach. Confirmation there. Another fantastic decision from the umpires, getting it right again. Just a little puzzled at what they were looking at there. But again, the umpires getting it right. He had a good look, took plenty of time, made sure, went through the checklist, did it, did it hit in line, wasn't hitting the stumps. 100. And he's played on. Another wicket for Kimar Roach. Clearly. A very aggressive intent by the Australians. Hussey just trying to force a ball through the offside away from the body. Maybe a little bit of luck starting to go the way of the West Indies fast bowlers. Australia now 145 for six. That's five for Kim R. Roach. Ten in the match. It really has been a tremendous performance by this brilliant Barbadian fast bowler. His first ten wicket haul in Test cricket. And you just see the difference with the lower order when you've got fast bowler steaming in, bowling well. And again, just getting something off the wicket. Just coming back in a little bit exactly where you want to be top of off and just reward he's bowled very well throughout the test Australia now 149 for seven <laughs> 